Hi everybody, I'm here to show you a few different ways that you can use your skate tool with your skates. Right off the bat, the most common thing I use them for is to loosen and tighten my wheels. For my tool, there's three different, there are three different sides to it. In order to loosen the wheel, I'm going to use the smallest end and put it over like this. And I can even take the whole wheel off. Let me put that back on. So you can loosen and tighten the wheels. In another video, I mentioned how loosening the wheels will make it easier to roll faster and tightening the wheels extra tight will make it harder to roll faster. I don't know if that's true, so I'm going to look it up. Let's see what the internet has to say. Let's see. Um, wheel tightness and roller skates. How tight should roller skate wheels be? Let's see. When replacing roller skate wheels or trying to determine where noise is coming from on your skates, you might wonder how tight the roller skate wheels should be. So how tight should they be? A good test for roller skate wheel tightness is to spin each wheel with your finger. Okay, I'll do that. All right, I spun each wheel. If the wheel stops before you can count to eight seconds, that means they are too tight. If the wheel stops after counting to eight, make sure the wheel doesn't wiggle side to side. Okay, I'll do the eight second test. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's still going. So I'm gonna stop it and make sure that it's not wiggling side to side because that means it's, it's probably too loose. Oh my gosh, there's bugs everywhere. It's fine. <laughs> All right, so it is put it up to the mic. You can hear that it's wiggling. So I'm going to tighten that a little bit more. All right now it's not wiggling side to side, but let's see if it passes the eight second test. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So I guess that means that wheel is good to go. Let's see what else this article tells us about wheels. Make sure that all of your roller skate wheels are equally adjusted. Otherwise, you risk injuring yourself and landing face first on the roller rink or wherever you're skating. The tighter the wheels, the less mobility you will have, which can also lead to injury. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Another way to check the tightness of your wheel is to tighten just enough so that you don't hear a click every time you put your foot down on the skates. However, they should be loose enough not to bind the bearings. Not to hear a click. I don't get it. <laughs> Wait, another way? Just enough so you don't hear a click. Well, I guess if your wheels are that loose that you're hearing clicks, as you're skating, then you have a problem. Loosening or tightening roller skate wheels is pretty easy to do. I just showed you how to do it earlier in the video. The roller skate boot is attached to a truck. So this is the truck. This is the boot. This is the truck, which has four wheels with ball bearings. Right now I have 
Oh, they're called red bones bearings. Yeah, so just in case you want a bearing recommendation. So let's get back into this because we were starting to get into the trucks. Yeah, so these are the trucks right here. And they can also be tightened and loosened. In order to adjust the trucks, if you have this three-way tool, you're going to need to use the bigger end of the circle. And the more you loosen it, if you grip onto these two wheels, you can see that it's very loose. And now I'm going to tighten it again because I don't like my, I like my trucks to be on the looser side, but not this loose. Because when I am dancing and turning, it gives more freedom of motion if your trucks are looser. That is just something I have learned from experience. The wrench part of my tool is used to adjust my toe stops. Now, not all roller skates have the option of popping adjustable toe stops in here. But if you do, you're going to use this wrench part to tighten and loosen it. Let's see if I can do it. And then you can take off the toe stop. For me, I take these I I take these on and off because I I put them in when I'm at the skate park or trail skating. But I take them out and I put in my jam plugs which are not here right now. But I have these little jam plugs that I put in so that I can dance and have more range of motion and not have my toe stop bumping the ground when I'm trying to spin and do different moves. So I'm going to put that back in now and use my tool to tighten it more. Oh, not me turning it the wrong way. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. All right. That's pretty good. <laughs> 